This is the most perfect bubble I've ever blown! These bubbles are so beautiful! You know what? They actually give me a good idea! I'm gonna do something fun with these candies. Just gonna heat them up in the microwave for about a minute. That should be enough time. Ooh, look! They've melted! Let me just take these back out to the living room. Okay, I've got my straw. I'm ready for my experiment. I'll just dip the end into the candies. It's ready for me to try and blow! It's working! Look at all those amazing candy bubbles! This is so cool! And the best part is, I can eat them! So delicious! What? I want to eat bubbles too! Ugh, mine tastes like soap! How did you eat yours? Oh my gosh, Leo. My bubbles are made out of candy. All right, all right, all right! Are you ready to get your workout on? Uh, what? That's right. You need to build your muscles to be a success! Um, is this math? <laughs> He's so ridiculous! Wait a second. You're thinking what I'm thinking. I've been waiting all day for a chance to eat this snack. What? Are they eating snacks? Don't they know there's no food allowed? <gasps> Foul! Foul committed in the classroom! Hi-ya! What? No! My candy bar! If you must have nourishment to work at your best, then choose a healthy snack. One for you, and you, and in the back. No way! Free orange! I need some space to eat this. Um, why is he a weirdo? Now to slice my orange. Just like that. All the way in half. Perfect. And now to bring out my portable juicer. And so I begin juicing. Yeah! Ooh, I've got a great idea for what to do. Out of my way, orange! I'm gonna need this juiced half from back here. Uh, what? All right. I've got my hollowed out orange rinds. And my candy bar. Next step, melt all that delicious chocolate. So tasty. So melted. And now I can just pour it right into the orange rind. Chocolate and orange are actually two flavors that go really well together. I'm just gonna stick it in the microwave for about two minutes. Ta-da! Now it's ready to eat. With a spoon, of course. Let me just give this a try. Mmm, it's so good! I need some more! All right, let me give it a try, too. It is good! Muscles help your body be strong. And you need that in life! Huh, well, I guess we're back to doing class stuff or something. Now I guess I should return to all my math and counting. Ooh, these buns look so nice and fresh! And they smell good, too! I've got the meat, so let's get started on this. The spatula is ready. And so is the barbecue grill. Okay, this looks like a good amount of meat. Let's start cooking. Whoa, whoa, Leo! Hold it right there! That's way too much! Oops. Okay, right. Well, no problem. I've got this under control. Do you, though? Because I'm not sure. Nothing to worry about. See? That's better, right? I can't believe you just did that. Hmm. Okay, you're right. That's not great. I'm missing something. The problem is, I'm not wearing my chef's hat. Oh, is that the problem? Really? Got my gloves on and now I'm ready to really do things right this time. Okay, I trust you, Leo. Ooh, look at this ground meat. Here! No, Leo. That's still not right. Hmm. Oh wait, the meat needs more massaging. I mean, if you think so, but it's already ground. Yes! Ha ha! I've got the perfect form! The loaf! Leo… <sighs> Look at the shape of our buns! The shape of the buns? I only know how to make giant patties or loaves out of meat. Whoa! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What's the lady doing over there? Oh, she has cold honey! No way! Look at how it's coming out of the bottle! And now she's eating it! She just squeezed it into that shape! Leo! That's totally our solution! Let's do this! Okay. I've got the bottle. And I cut off the top to make it easier. And now I can just put a bit of meat in the top like so. I just want to fill the whole top with the ground meat. And now it's ready to be flipped over and put on the bottom of the bottle. Before we go any further, though, I'm gonna stick a skewer in the middle. And now I can press down on the top, which will squeeze out the meat. Look! It's totally working! And now the meat's ready to be cooked. I'll just put it on the grill. You finish a few more. Woo! Teamwork makes dream work! We're the best! Oh my gosh, I love chips! They're my favorite snack! Every kind, too. This one, and this one, and this one. Hmm, what is she doing over there? Ugh. Eating too many chips. Hazel, honey. How about instead of eating chips, we eat some veggies? No way! Gross! Come on. Here comes the carrot. No? Hmm. Well, maybe I've got something else that you might like to eat. What about some bread? Ew, no! Oh, great. Now it fell into my chip bag. The only solution now is to make a chip sandwich. Bread, chips, of course, and then bread. Voila! What is she doing now? Oh, 
She'll eat food as long as there are chips with it. That gives me a great idea. Okay, I have the bag of chips, and I also have an egg. I'll just crack that egg right in there. Actually, I need more than one. And now for some veggies. In this case, I chopped up some bell peppers. Don't forget the ham and cheese, too. Okay, that should be enough. Now I just need to heat this pot of water until it starts to simmer. It's ready, which means it's time to add the bag of chips. All right, I think that should be long enough. I'll just pour it out onto the plate now. Ta-da! It's like a frittata! Or an omelet. Hazel, go ahead and try it. I'm sure you'll like it. Mmm! I can smell the chips inside! Ooh, look! There's a little chip right here! Mmm, so salty and good. Thanks, Dad. That was delicious. What? Uh, are you kidding me right now? Ugh. Ugh, it's so hot in here. I can't even stand it. And this fan is broken and totally useless. That's it. This shirt is officially coming off. I'm too hot for tops. There. And this thing is soaked with sweat. I'd better squeeze it out. There we go. Wow, look at all of that. Eh, I'm not putting it back on. I need a clean shirt. This one should work. Well, I can't just change shirts like that. So I'm sweltering. Oh hey, my little plant fan! Come on, planty, I need your help! Ugh, not fair. It's broken or something. I just… I'm so hot! I need ice! Yes! Perfect! I just need an ice cube. And now I can press it to my temple like this. Ooh, that's cold. I just need it to keep cooling me off, though. No way! I'm in charge of the remote! Leo, knock it off! I had it first so I get to pick what we're watching! Oh yeah, I love this. Good job, Hazel. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, you know what? I could use a snack, too. Time to break out my private chocolate stash. Ooh, look at all those goodies! What? You have a whole bar of chocolate right there? This show is so good! It's definitely one of my favorites. Oh no! I just have a gooey melted mess! <laughs> you should see the look on your face. Here, give me some of that. Mmm, I love melted chocolate. And this looks delicious. Yeah, that's really good chocolate. So tasty. Hey, wait a second. I have this whole bowl of ice right here. Hazel, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Okay, I've got the bowl of ice water and I've got the melted chocolate. I cut the corner of the wrapper off and now I can start squeezing. There we go. Right onto the ice, like so. I made a chocolate circle. Let me just spoon some ice water over the top to help it cool down. Okay, I think it's done. Here we go again. I'm gonna start making this one a different shape. Yay! A perfect triangle! And now I'll just cool it off the same way as before. I think that should be enough. Let me check. Yep. Ooh, Hazel! These turned out so good! We're so smart! Come on, triangle! You're going into my mouth! Mmm! I think chocolate rings taste even better than chocolate bars! That was really good! Thanks for sharing, Hazel! Just chopping up some potatoes for dinner. It's a lot of work, though. Hey, wait a second. Why am I doing this alone when I've got kids who could help? Hazel, you see these potatoes on the table? They all need to be peeled. So please get to work doing that chore if you want dinner tonight. Ugh, why do I always get stuck with the new chores? Yikes. So glad it's not me. This isn't even a peeler! It's tweezers! It doesn't even work! Nope, that's it. I can't do this. Leo, you have to try. Here! Ugh, really? Okay, fine. I'll give it a try. Nope. Not working. Here, Hazel. Take it back. Dad asked you to do it anyway. I just… How is he expecting me to do this? Nope. Back to you! Again? But I already tried. It didn't work. See? I told you. I still can't feel the potato. Take it back, Hazel! No, I don't want it! You do it! Oh, no! The razor and potato are falling! Hazel, wait! Look at this! We can use the tub! I'll just close it up and then shake it really good. I know this will work. I've just gotta shake it as hard as I can. Phew. That was hard work. Okay, let me take a look. Yes! It totally worked! I can't believe it! Or, I mean, I knew it would work. Look, see? It's perfectly peeled, too. I know! Let's do the rest of them that way! Maybe he'll raise our allowances! Okay, that's a smart idea, Hazel. But we need to be smart, too. We need a bigger tub. Into this bucket they go. And now, of course, we need the lucky razor, too. Okay, everything is in place. I guess the next thing to do is get shaken. I'm ready, Leo! Let's go! Ah! Shake it as hard as you can, Hazel! Harder! Okay, stop! That has to be good enough. Oh, here comes dad. Hmm, what's this now? Did you peel the potatoes like I asked? Let me just take a look. Whoa! You really did peel the potatoes. That's a really great job, kids. I knew you could do it. Yes! 
We totally impressed him! How would you peel the potatoes? Let us know in the comments! And don't forget to share this video with your friends, like, and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one!